Hello everyone, it's Belinda Weaver here. I am a copy coach and every week I go live answering some questions that I've got in my coaching group, Confident Copywriting, in my free Facebook group or over email. And this one is, it's kind of a less of a question um, and more of a situation that you've probably found yourself in. So I had someone write to me and say, I'm struggling to find out if I can write copy that people will read. Um, and this person said, I read, I often see copy that I just skim over because it's long and boring and a waste of my time. The ad and email copy is repetitive. It all looks the same. And these are done by professional copywriters. And I wonder how can I get paid as much as they're obviously being paid to write this kind of copy it was actually I've made it more succinct but it was basically I'm reading crap copy any everywhere and these people are obviously being paid big bucks for it and there are a lot of pieces to this kind of conundrum so there's the idea that when you're an aspiring and working copywriter you start noticing how much copy is around you. You start paying attention, which you absolutely should be doing. Pay attention to the copy around you and critique it in your head. It drives my husband bananas, but also take screenshots, save things, create a swipe file. But here's what I want to dig into. There's two sides of this kind of scenario. Firstly, what you like isn't necessarily what's going to work. And so you need to separate yourself, uh, how you feel about copy that you get or you see from what actually works. Because long copy, short copy, whatever, it appeals to slightly different audiences. And there are also what's called the stages of awareness. So there are five stages of awareness. We are completely unaware that we have a problem. We become aware that we have a problem. We become aware that there are solutions to our problem. Then we become aware that there are specific products. Then we become most aware and ready to buy. Now, people at different stages of awareness need not only different information, but possibly different length of copy. So there is also personal preference. So what works for you won't necessarily work for someone else because of personal preference, but also completely different needs. You're probably not in the target audience um, and different stages of awareness. So as copywriters, we need to separate what we like from what will work for the audience of the client we're writing for. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing is when you see copy around and you're like, that's pretty boring. Now I'm in Silicon Valley in California and we take regular day trips up to San Francisco. The whole area is billboards about software. You know, ClickUp, Zoom, HR software, name a SaaS tool, there is a billboard. And some of them, yeah, really uninteresting. But when you're in a car, you don't want interesting copy, you want clear copy. But then there is the idea that when you read copy, it might have started off really interesting and good and stand out and maybe even a bit challenging um, to disrupt the market a little bit. But once copy goes through two, three, four, five rounds of reviews with all sorts of departments, which is what happens in agencies and big companies, when it's not just you and the small business owner hashing it out, copy that challenges and disrupts and is interesting and memorable often gets watered down. So you have to remember that that copy you see on a big ad or in a magazine um, or in a newspaper or on a website. It might not have looked like that before the review process began. <laughs> and it can kill a copywriter a little bit. But as a copywriter, you need to be able to let go of that first draft. At the end of the day, the client is paying you and you can make recommendations. You can give them strategic direction, but at the end of the day, they're paying the bill. If they want it that way, you, you write it that way and you let it go. It's not your copy. 
And so one final thought I have for you, this might challenge you, is that there are a lot of copywriters who make really great money and they aren't that great. I know, I'm not, I don't have names in mind. I'm not here to name and shame people, but you can make awesome bankroll as a copywriter by being decent. Actually, not even that. You can make awesome bankroll as a copywriter by just being not shit, delivering the work when you say you will, and creating a decent customer service experience for your clients, right? So you don't have to be the best copywriter in the world in order to make a great living. Now, am I telling you that you can take your foot off the pedal? Am I telling you that you don't have to try and write good copy, that you can just phone it in and deliver whatever? Absolutely not. But you can't sit in a pit of bitterness because other people are getting out there and having success. You can't sit in a little island of one and say, I am a really good copywriter and everyone else is earning more money than me. When maybe you're not networking regularly, you're not marketing yourself in other ways with content, content or relationship building, you're not trying to make yourself more visible by commenting and sharing and curating other people's content by trying to get on podcasts, you know, that kind of stuff. Marketing, visibility work consistently is uncomfortable. You have to build your muscles to do that. You have to make time every single week to market yourself, especially when you are busy. It's where a lot of copywriters fall off. I'm too busy to market. And then all of a sudden the work dries up. But showing up consistently, pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, marketing yourself all the damn time, it's uncomfortable. And a lot of people just don't do it. But that's what it takes to get regular clients, to get the clients you want, to be busy enough to keep upping your rates. And if you're not doing that, you can't complain about copywriters who maybe don't write copy as well as you do, but who market themselves better and who pay attention to customer service and deliver a great service. So there's two ideas here. There are so many shitty businesses out there that you really just have to be not shit and you're already ahead. But when you get good and you do what you can to get clients. That means always marketing and getting visible, getting known through your relationship building, then it all comes together. But you have to be prepared to do the uncomfortable work and do it consistently. Now that I'm talking about torturing yourself, by the way, you've got to choose the marketing strategies and visibility strategies that work for you. But the more you market your business, and yourself, the more clients you will get. And you can do that in parallel to building up your copywriting skills. You do not need to know all the things. You do not need to be the best in the business. You need to be decent and then also market yourself and show up for clients in a way that delivers good customer service. Anything above that and you are way ahead of a lot of people in your industry. And I think that idea is kind of liberating, right? So just to recap with this situation, when you're looking at a lot of copy and you're like, I hate this, who reads this? It's too long, it's boring. Just remember, you might not be the target audience. You might not be in the right stage of awareness for that piece of copy. And what you like or don't like is irrelevant to what works and what doesn't work. And the other idea is that you can't sit on an island being the best copywriter in the world if no one knows who you are. So get good, get visible, get known, and it really will help you get the kind of revenue or success or visibility, whatever it is you want, 
for your business. And that's when you can start being very selective about who you work with and when you work and all those kind of things. I think that's what we're all after at the end of the day, the ability to choose. You've got to put yourself out there first. I would love to know what you think of this. And what you're doing on a consistent basis to get you the things you want in your business. Let me know in the comments.